Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I've got a reverse unboxing of the uh, Through Night Catapult Mini. And this is a very unusual light. Um, I actually was contacted by, by uh, through, through Night to see if I wanted to try it out. And it's, I was absolutely ecstatic. It was exactly the light I was looking for. However, if you do a uh, search of general reviews, this light went out to a, quite a few people when it was released about three months ago, and a lot of them thought it was a novelty, really cool, kind of interesting, don't know what I'd use it for, to not your first light, to maybe a backup, maybe something interesting for, you know, to play with or whatever. And I thought, okay, they must have missed the point of this thing. This thing is amazing. First of all, it's tiny. Second of all, it has this intense beam. This is ridiculous. It is a unbelievably bright, narrow beam. Look at that. I mean, it's like the sun. Very small. Now, that's what threw people, because it'd be hard to run through a forest with this light. It, in fact, it shoots out. Um, well, let me show you the specs on this thing, because it's, it's a little bit harder to just kind of distill down. So if we look at the specs, what we've got here, we're using a, um, it's an LED light. Now this particular kind of an LED light um, is often found in projectors, like LED projectors um, designed to project, you know, your computer screen or a movie or something up on a wall. Um, tough lens, it's got a total uh, internal reflectance lens um, with a, it's got a glass coating. Um, and then it's got, let's see, what else is interesting? Well, let's go to the output. So right here, um, we've got our, our different settings. We've got turbo, we've got high, medium, low, and then something they call Firefly. And Firefly is actually half a lumen, half a lumen. <laughs> um, we'll start there. Uh, and then the low is 21 lumens, medium is 96 lumens, 235 lumens on high, which seems absurdly low by today's standards. And then 680 lumens is the high on this. But here's where this gets a little odd. Uh, let's see, I can, I'll can i go over the runtime. We've got 70 minutes. We've got 80, 80 minutes on uh, high here. We've got uh, four hours on medium, 12 hours. Uh, on low and Firefly is 106 hours, but let's go to here. Okay, what this is saying is that the distance, that's how far this beam shoots out, is 598 feet, or excuse me, meters. Um, and th those meters, 500 meters, well, that's um, around a track is about 400 meters, so you're one and a half times around a traditional running track. That's how far that is. Um, 800 meters is might be half a mile or close. So it's a little under half a mile. That is way out there. And that's what this narrow beam can do. But here's how you know what's going on. This is, if you see this, this is the ink, what they're calling the intensity, and it's measured in candela. Um, and this says 89,600 uh, candela is the maximum output. Uh, a candela is kind of, it's a bit archaic, but what that actually means is the, basically the intensity of the light in a particular direction. So you kind of need to know the lumen number and you need to know the candela and even the lux if you really want to kind of get an understanding of how this stuff works. But what we're talking about there is the equivalent of almost 90,000 candles um, in one direction, which is uh, way more than what most people are used to. Um, anyway, uh, and then this is about the battery management. You know, you'll get the bat the LED on the indicator goes off at at zero percent. Red here, eleven to twenty percent, um, which is kind of on the low end. I think um, that actually will be kind of this purple colored light, and then it'll be blue if all things are are good. But anyway, let's take a look at this stuff. Um, this is the light, and uh, it's got a beautiful finish. Very nice hard anodization. It actually has a uh, single button here, uses a uh, twist off back with their proprietary battery. It's 1100 milliamps. Um, it's kind of an unusual shape. Um, no spring here, but you can uh, apparently substitute it with a, um, another 
battery of this size. Um, this is a, uh, let me turn that on. You can see there's a little blue light there. That has a unique feature. If I hold that in uh, for three seconds, it goes into what's called a breathing mode. Um, you see that breathing in and out? It's kind of a soft, gentle blue. I guess that might be so you can find it or something in the dark. Um, maybe if you're using night vision, which is actually, um, this is night vision here, so is this guy. Um, I, I play around with different night vision apparatus. But this thing here, um, why I was excited about it was something I learned from night vision, and I learned it from this streamlight here, which is the SuperTAC IR. This is an infrared um, output in a very narrow spot. And the reason I wanted that um, was when I was using certain infrared um, viewing devices, um, they often have a port that, that fires out a little bit of infrared. Not real exciting, um, so I supplemented it. And I was actually using these. these. A lot of these have magnification. I was using this out at long distances, like 300 meters. And it was lighting it up very bright, but I couldn't see clearly because I couldn't see as well with this. Um, and I had tried it with other things. You know, I played around like holding these Milwaukee's. Um, here's the M12 spotlight, um, and here's their kind of M18 searchlight. You can see just how bright that is. Um, compare that to, to this. You can see the M12, or the M18, um, is a kind of a yellow. This is more of a white, um, as we shine them on the, on the wall back there. Um, but both pretty darn bright. In fact, I think this one's a little clearer, the, the catapult. So, what do you do with it? What I wanted it for was this. Here's a pair of binoculars, and I've used a, this is an Olight uh, flashlight attaching system. So I can throw this thing on here and uh, strap it down. Get that on there, right there. Uh, and then what I've got, I can turn that on, and I can look through my binoculars out hundreds and hundreds of yards and see clearly when it's really dark. This allows me to turn my binoculars essentially into night vision. Of course, it's not infrared night vision. I'm just lighting up a distance um, or something distant, but I'm looking at them through high quality optics. Uh, I've worked on it, how to uh, try to get it onto uh, um, those larger Leopolds, but in all reality, these are an eight by, uh, or these are a 10 by 24 maybe. I can't remember. Um, 10 by 25 Leicas here. These jump up to, uh, these are a 10 by 40, 10 by 42. Um, so I'm getting a lot more light gathering, but in my tests outside, this is plenty to see some pretty interesting stuff at a distance. Um, and that's what I was trying to do with this guy here using my infrared viewing. But the, you're basically, because it, it, you're seeing it on like a TV screen, it's not that sharp. This is as sharp as your eyes. So then I'm taking it to the next level, which let me grab the next level here, which I've been playing with. Check that out. What I've got here, this is a, a Leopold spotting scope. Um, and I've attached up at the top um, a small rig. Um, tripod mount um, through a bolt to a Velcro thing so I can actually have this up and then I can adjust it here as it, you know, it gets, get the sag and uh, the flex and everything organized. And then I can point this at what I'm looking at downrange on a tripod. And this goes up to 60, I think it's, is it 40 or 60? 40 power. Um, and this uh, is going to be amazing for watching wild animals at night, uh, exploring areas, curious about something. Um, this is just a whole different universe. This light is is something you, you want to be kind of careful. It reminds me of like a police helicopter, you know, when they're searching for a subject at night and they've, they've got this just super bright um, beam. Tighten it up, there we go. This super bright beam that follows, you know, the, let me set this down that, you know, follows the little subject running around and then they catch him and they're just, it's just so intense. The beam spread on this, you can see, is pretty small. Here, you know, here's my, uh, bring it down here. Here's my 
two fingers at this width and I can go out here and you can see, there's my fingers there, uh, you know, it's maybe doubled in this distance compared to like, here's one of my favorite Surefire. You can see a lot bigger. Um, plus how the beam falls apart right away. You can see, I guess the, the camera's really picking up a lot of this, uh, but totally different world when you get into this. So you can see that. Anyway, uh, so what I think people are missing, if they just want like tons of lumens, well, go get this Nebo thing. This is 12,000 lumens. I find it a little hard to use. Um, this is a thousand lumens. You know, I do work with connecting flashlights to other things for other reasons. Um, I've got a whole pile of different small flashlights that I always carry with me for, you know, I always got one with me. But then this allows me now to ramp up and uh, take some of my other tools to the next level. And I've gone out with this thing, and that's actually, I can make some adjustments for and aft if I need to, but it's pretty darn close to being dead on when I center it, right? Um, and this thing is amazing. I can just hang it around my neck. You know, it's nice and light and small, um, but it adds basically another dimension to my ability to use binoculars. And with the uh, winter, you know, approaching, the days are ending a lot sooner, so I don't have near as much daylight, especially up here where I live up north. Um, so this is kind of a cool added tool um, to amplify what I can get out of these. Um, so let's, uh, let's re-box it so you can see. Came in a cardboard box. Tells you um, to screw down the light. So it came with the tail cap. Uh, twist it off, which also allows some intermittence. Some people had kind of wondered about doing that. Um, it's really sensitive, so I can, if I wanted to signal, um, I could. But uh, came wrapped up in a piece of plastic, cords, lanyard, dropped it in there. There we go. Had a rubber band wrapped around it. And there it is, the Through Night Catapult Mini. Amazing little tool. And with that, Doc out.